G'day folks, it's Cortezarino, and today I'm going to show you how to build this palisade and gate. And it's, it's basically just a fancy fence and fence gate. It won't keep the spiders out, they can climb over it, but it'll keep out all the other beasties. So it's a great way to defend your base, or maybe a village to keep the beasties out so they don't kill all your villagers. And you can see, this is what it looks like surrounding a village. So a fair bit of work and a fair bit of wood <laughs> would go into this. But uh, I would probably build this when I make my first starter house. Just putting it around there to keep the mobs away and it would look super duper cool. And the materials are super easy to get. You do need a lot of wood, but you can build this very, very early again. And I've got two versions of the palisade gate right here. One with the closed gate and one with the gate open. So if it's purely a decorative build, then I would just do the open gate. I think it looks a lot nicer. But if you're defending your base and you want to keep all the beasties out, then I'd do the closed gate. And it's pretty easy to get in and out. All you have to do is just open a trapdoor at any point in the fence and you can jump right over. Okay, so first of all, I'll show you how to build the sections of fence. So that's just two spruce trapdoors popped on top of one another. And then behind them, you can put a couple of fence posts just randomly scattered along the fence. And when you want to turn a corner, best thing to do is to do it one block away from one of your fence posts. And you can just put a second line of trapdoors right there and then come here and pop two in and just keep going round in a great big circle. So even though the design of the palisade is pretty simple, it will take you a few goes to get the shape exactly right. But now let's move on to the gate. Now I'm going to build mine entirely out of spruce wood, like this one right here, but if you want to, you can mix in stripped dark oak instead of stripped spruce wood. And that's what that one will look like. But yeah, we'll do the tutorial just with the spruce. So for this, you'll need spruce trapdoors, spruce fences, the stripped spruce log. You'll need the stripped spruce wood, the one with the nice rounded end on it, and spruce fence gates, stairs, and slabs. Okay, so you're going to want to begin with a three block wide opening in your fence. So you can see we've got the poles on this side, so this means this is the inside of our fence. What you want to do is put two stripped spruce logs right there, right against those trapdoors, and then two on that side as well. And if you're using path blocks like I am, you'll be able to see the dirt just underneath there. So what I like to do is just knock out that block and place another log underneath so we can't see that. And once you've done that, we'll finish with a stripped spruce wood with the nice rounded bark end on it. Then you can come to the outside and just break the trapdoors in front of those logs. And the only other thing we have to do around the front here is we are just going to put two more trapdoors on top of those right there. So they will be three blocks tall in total and we'll do the same on that side. And after that, it goes down to a two block tall fence. So now we will pop into the inside right here and we're going to put four fences just like that. So one right next to the spruce logs. Skip a block, one there, skip a block, one there, and skip a block. Place another, and then we will build all of those up until they are four fences tall. Okay, so now you want to grab a fence gate, and not against the very top fence, but against the second one from the top. We're going to put a fence gate right there, just connecting the poles, and we are going to do that in all four of these gaps. Okay, so now we're going to build the little section for the person to stand. So we'll grab our stripped spruce wood, the one with the nice bark end on it. We're going to put one on top of each of those fences. And next thing you want to do is just place a temporary one right there. We'll put a spruce trapdoor against it, flip it up and break that. Then you can come around to the front and you'll have to hold shift. We're going to place a trapdoor against that trapdoor. Another one and one there and then one on each side. And we place them like that. So all these lines are facing in the same direction. 
Then just come around to each side, place a trapdoor against the one on the floor and flip it up. And then to put the roof on our little watchtower, we're just going to put a spruce fence on top of each of those logs with a spruce slab on top of the fences on the gap in between. Whoops, wrong spot. We are just going to put a spruce stair like so on each side and then just put a temporary slab there, one over the top and break that. Okay, so if you're building the closed gate, this is super easy. We're just going to put three trapdoors right there with another two lines of them on top. Flip all of those up and then on the other side, just to give this gate a bit more width, we are going to do the same thing. Three lots of trapdoors all flipped up. Now, if you've got the path blocks like I do here, they will disappear the second you put the fence in, but you can easily disguise that. So over here, I've just put in two coarse dirt and a spruce slab underneath. And on the other side, just some coarse dirt and a bit of grass. And if you want to do the open gate, we're going to start with a line of trapdoors on that side. And we'll swing around here to give it a bit more width. We will put another line right there. But the other side of the gate is going to be open, so we're going to put two trapdoors like that with another two on top of those. And then just swing around this side and to give it a bit more width, we will put, whoops, I'm falling around everywhere, three trapdoors like that. And that is how to do your open gate and to decorate the path blocks if you're using them like I am. Once again, you can just scatter a bit of coarse dirt around underneath those trapdoors. And the only other thing I would mention is that these are purely decorative. You can't actually climb up to them. But if you really did want these to be functional, what you could do is just temporarily break those trapdoors there and get rid of that fence gate and grab your spruce trapdoors. And against this trapdoor at the front, we're just going to do a line of trapdoors all the way down and then flip them open. And then we will quickly replace these three trapdoors at the front. So now if we come around to this side, we've got a line of trapdoors there. And you can hold shift and place some ladders on. So you can then climb up into your little, your little spot right here. Although I think this trick with the ladders on the trapdoors, it may only work on Java Edition. Not sure if it works on Bedrock. So that's it guys, it's a very simple design, but it does look super cool. And what I'll do is I will put this world in the video description so you can grab the world download. It might be handy if uh, if you are using path blocks like I am here just to get some ideas for how to decorate the path underneath those trapdoors. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video guys. Thanks for watching, I'm Cortez Arena. I'll see you later.